up, you guys? I'm Lisa Schwartz, and welcome back to Will You Accept This Ride here on The Bachelor Insider. If you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. What are you waiting for? I know it's almost over. I'm getting a little depressed and a little devastated about the whole situation, but you know what? The Bachelorette is just around the corner. <laughs> so subscribe so you don't miss any of these videos. It's Fantasy Sweet Week, which means smooches and cuddles in adult situations we shouldn't talk about here on this channel. Shall we get going? The three remaining ladies and Ari hit up South America for the last stop on the love tour, and Ari is pumped. We're finally here in Peru. For the fantasy sweet date, Kendall and Ari hit up the slopes. The desert slopes, that is. Yeah. <laughs> After a night in the fantasy suite and having her eggs cook just right, Kendall admitted that she is falling in love with Ari. For Ari's fantasy sweet date with Lauren, they took to the skies of Peru to see some amazing landscape designs that have been there for years. And years and years and years and years. In like more years. We're talking a lot of years. Super cool. That's my favorite. But later that night, Lauren expressed some concerns she had about the relationship. I see a future with you. Yeah. But then when I have to be with the other girls, it kind of makes me feel like I shouldn't be doing that. After two nights in a row of fantasy suites, Ari and Becca hit the seas. Ah! <laughs> so many feelings. Oh my god, it's crazy. I'm a lucky man. Oh, you think the romance is over? <laughs> no, no, no. Becca's ex of seven years comes all the way to Peru to try to get her back and propose to her. I mean, that's that's my proposal to give her. What? Scandal! Although lucky for Ari, Becca shut that <laughs> down real fast. For us, no. Like, no. She doesn't want me. Also, I felt sad for the flowers that just sat there. In the end, Ari only had two roses, and for the second time during the rose ceremony, he pulled Kendall aside, but this time it was to say, adios, mi amor. This is an ongoing thing. I'm gonna throw up. I know all of you out there are wondering, who won that trophy that one time we made that reference to that trophy that one time Wells was on the show? I think Becca K okay. is going to the end. Uh, disagree. Oh, really? Uh, Tia. Okay, so we're the same except you're going Tia and I'm going Becca. Okay. Okay. Making the cut at the end of Hometowns was my girl Becca, so suck it, Will! I win the crown. Or the thing. Whatever this, I win is the point. I'm better than you, Wells. Put this thing in gear, Kibble! Let's do this! Tonight for the fantasy seat is a complete badass who will do anything for love, like eating maggots and facing off a crystal and carrying around a little stuffed duck in her pocket. I don't know, but you know who I'm talking about. That's right, Kendall! Hello! Will you accept this ride? Ah, yes, of course! Hi, welcome! How are you? I am so excited to meet you. I've been oh, yeah. waiting all season. Let's celebrate. Yes, I'm down. Girl, <laughs> how has your life been? Has it changed since you it's have been, gone on this journey? For the most part, it's been pretty happy. Yeah, nothing it's been pretty happy. <laughs> pretty happy, nothing too crazy. You're still pretty happy. <laughs> Yay. Oh, oh goodness. Hey. <laughs> Thank so you. much to talk about. Yeah, First all of all, things. Kendall, I have never seen this on the show before. You had the most mature and beautiful and amazing, empowering, conversation with Crystal. Oh, thank you. That I was like, this chick is so awesome. And also thank like, you. <laughs> it was just so nice for everyone watching. Like you handled the situation so beautifully. You've been through a lot of pain, like more pain than I can even understand. I can definitely empathize with you. I don't, I don't really have words. All these years, we've never really seen someone present that conversation like that. I'm really into just supporting other women and not feeling like you have to belittle someone or make yourself seem more important. It was just super refreshing. Thank you. So, to you. And I'm glad that you got the rose that night because that would have been like Me too. a bummer. <laughs> I know. And being able to go to the Eiffel Tower was the best thing. So was so it fun. weird afterwards? Because like you were on that two-on-one, which was awkward. Um, I think I during the entire two-on-one, it is an awkward experience because I hadn't had a one-on-one with right, Ari. Right. So this so, was like your new Yeah. Like, I was like, I'm just going to hang out with this guy. Like I think he's really cool. And we just connected. <laughs> You're so pragmatic. It's so refreshing <laughs> afterwards. <clears throat> you were able to justify it and really like see the reasoning, but like yeah, I what mean, emotionally was going on. It's always difficult. I feel like I had reached a point during the entire journey where I had learned so much about myself in relationships and 
Um, I did feel like I could have opened up a little bit more, and I wanted to open up a little bit more, but um, I don't know, I think given the situation, if love can be a formula in some ways, I feel like I learned how to open myself up for the next person. Okay. It's one thing to say you have walls and another thing to actually discover them and to be able to, um, you know, get rid of them. You know? <sighs> Girl, you just like <laughs> opened the <laughs> out of that. Like, yes. Yes. Totally. I heard that you brought someone along today. I did bring someone along today. I'm scared. So this is Pam. <gasps> But like also normal? like, ah, he's dead, but he's just, <laughs> <laughs> he travels with me. I traveled with him actually on the show. So you did? Yeah. So I carried him with me to, um, we went to like Tahoe and Paris and Italy and Peru. He he's well traveled. He is. He has his passport. It's all full now. <laughs> so yeah. like, I'm obsessed with my dog. Like it's unhealthy. Oh, can I stuff her? Like Usually with pets, you want to freeze dry them because it keeps the likeness more. There's just like some, oh my god, there's so much space. The <laughs> <laughs> poor puppy can't take it. <laughs> How you, you gotta like get it in the legs, that's the tricky part. Is that the key? Yeah, because it's hard to get it into the extremities. I need like a, a prod. <laughs> what? Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe you should date a taxidermist. Maybe. Any cute taxidermists out there? Hit her up. <laughs> Okay, so Fantasy Suites, yeah. we're all obsessed. You get the first one. We assume like it's just like sexy, sexy time, which like we can chat about if you want. <laughs> but what else happens in there for real? Um, I think the first thing that Ari said as soon as um, everyone left and the doors closed, he's like, do you want to finish a chocolate cake? I was like, yeah. <laughs> so we just like ate cake, listened to music, you're like dancing, drinking champagne. Aww. It was so fun. Like I really enjoyed my time with him. And it definitely made me fall for him that much more, which was, made it a lot harder to say goodbye after having such an amazing time. Yeah. If you had had more time, do you think you would still be there? The mentality of going into it and not having a one-on-one -on -one and not having that validation, I almost couldn't switch my brain from, oh, this is something that's actually serious. I could totally get yeah. that. In Italy, I was like, kind of like, wow, this is something that's actually happening. And it got more and more real, the more time that and I had with so him. that's so late in though. It is You're late. Right. That's late. And I wish I would have had a one-on-one -on -one earlier, so I could have maybe Getting my, got myself emotionally there. Yeah, so when he pulls you aside in this rose ceremony, were you yeah. like, here we go again? <laughs> Part of me knew that I probably wouldn't be coming back into the rose ceremony <laughs> after that. I, I think he just wanted to have that time and not let me go through a rose ceremony. Which, which I, really I appreciated. love. Yeah, I, I really appreciate that. I that was that. the right thing to do. Yeah, no, I love that he did that because um, just having to wait and not have and my name not stare. called. Oh. <laughs> It's time for a little game. Are you ready? Yes. We're gonna play a little game I like to call How You Doing. <laughs> you admitted to being a big old nerd when it comes to love. Yeah, I am a little bit. So here's how this game goes I'm gonna give you a topic, something okay. nerdy that I think you're gonna get into, and you need to come up with a pickup line using that topic. Okay. 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 I feel like you're gonna be good at that. I used to research pickup lines. What? I used to research pickup lines. I used to look them online, look them up online. For what? I don't know. I almost felt like I had to train to flirt. You know? Oh. It's like there's like always that misunderstanding of like how do I hang out with the opposite sex and then think I'm cool. It didn't happen for a long time for me. It really didn't. You gotta teach me because I have no <laughs> idea. Okay. I need a pickup line for taxidermy. Um I'm gonna love you to death. Oh <laughs> Star Trek! Oh, um, I'll beam you up, Scotty. I just need to find a Scotty. For yeah, yeah. <laughs> Scotty's and Scotty's only out works there. with Scotty's. <laughs> very specific, very targeted. So if your name is Scotty. But when you meet that Scotty, <laughs> woo! I'll beam you up. Zombies. <laughs> Zombies. Ooh. Um, I'll take a bite of your heart. This girl is on fire. All that research. <laughs> All that research, though. <laughs> and your time on The Bachelor. Um. Roses are red, I collect things that are dead. Yes! Insert the applause! Dude, you're so good! What do you think 
about these two like Romanian ladies, they're yeah. so different. They're very, very different. And I think they both represent something that Ari is really drawn to. Oh, that's interesting. So what yeah. would you say for each? Um, I think with Becca, she is just such a strong woman and she has such a strong opinion that I think he loves how fiery he fiery she is and how yeah. she's somebody that um, he's liked from the beginning. She had the first one on one. Yeah. You know, so that relationship has been a really, you know, a long time like yeah. forming throughout the entire experience. And then with um, Lauren, I feel like her relationship started a little bit later and she takes a lot longer to open up. Yeah. Um, but also I feel like he loves how sweet she is and how ready she is for marriage. I mean, she's been engaged before. So I feel like she's the one that would be ready to just, you know, take on their life and get started. Do you understand why you left tonight and yeah. why they're still there? I definitely understand why I left. I think a huge part of it was because I was the only one that I'm not even sure if I would have accepted a proposal. At yes, the end of it. you said that. You're yeah. like, I actually don't know. If you ask right now, yeah. I'd say no. I know, and that's the thing. Uh, that my jaw dropped literally yeah. when you said that because I was like, damn. But I wasn't ready at that point. In totally our relationship. understandable. I get that, and I commend you. Good for you. <laughs> this was so much fun. <laughs> I'm so excited for you. I can't Thank wait you. to see. You're gonna find like the man of your dreams. He might not be alive, but that's okay. <laughs> it's like what necrophilia. <laughs> 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 I mean, he's gonna be great. <laughs> I like guys with a pumping heart. <laughs> All right, girl. Bye, Thank love. you. So nice to meet oh, you. Nice meeting you too. Should I take this? Yeah, take it. I'm taking this. It's my outside ear, not rodeo. Right <laughs> guys, I have a new best friend and a new affinity for stuffy things. Make sure you stick around. Next week is going to be epic. Like the most dramatic season finale ever. I'm not joking, I'm being real with you. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of these videos. I'll see you next time. Oh, she forgot ping. I guess I'm gonna have to keep ping. Oh. <laughs>